when you said after the fight it felt really good, and that's you. That's one. That's the reason they said let's get Toby on this podcast because I know that you walked that martial arts path like that meant something to you. But when he goes on and become you know make a million dollars and stuff like that, 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 that gets you a little bit. Does that do you think about it a little bit? Like how do you how how does that affect you a little bit? I mean, good for him. Uh, and you like I was older. He's a younger fighter, you know, different, different paths. Uh, but I mean, I, I feel, I'm, I don't know, proud of him. Okay. Like, that's, that's like, really he, like he's earned it. it. He's earned it. Uh, I get to say that I contributed to creating that monster. So. Hey, there it is. Yeah. That, that's it. Toby Amato, the martial arts. Thanks, bro. That's, that's a, yeah. I want to get <laughs> out of you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I, 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 you know, and I, I think, that helped him too. You know, as strange as that might sound, like a loss like that, I mean, it, it made him level up, like you were talking about. You know, uh, your, your, your belts were won. It's like, it, it kind of like he found his place in the, in the, in the world of oh, sports. Yeah. I, absolutely. When he fought Damian Maya and not get submitted, I was, I was way impressed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, hell yeah, dude. He, he, he's, he really learned how to, how to like, uh, Really learn how to fight, think during fights. 